didn't commit enough troops there. He only right. had, you know, his one or two shuttles, not as much as he had earlier on. But Stork now, see, he can get a Stargate up, he can get Arbiters, and he's already got the economy going. Um, Fantasy is going to have to do a ton of damage. And Stork, see, he's such a smart player. He's got cannons already in his base, so Fantasy's not going to be able to do it a lot with those vultures. That's something that if, if this was Tempest, and Tempest had this lead, right. he wouldn't build cannons in his, in his bases, lose. and he would lose... You know, crap load of probes for no reason. Now, it looks like it doesn't matter that, that Stork does have uh, cannons there, though, because there are some tanks not dropping on the tanks. It looks like there's just too many forces there, so Stork is unable to respond. He is going to move Dragoons here, but there's a lot of mines, and, and Fantasy is going to take down this base. Um, that is going to hurt Stork, but Stork, I do feel, is still ahead. It looks like shuttle speed, well, it was probably already in if it hadn't kicked in already. It looks like he is going to try to defend this one good Reaver shot. But Stork coming in with a lot of Dragoons trying to reinforce his base, but yeah. it's just so far out there. This was one of those, you know, far away expansions and it's really hard to hold. I'm surprised Fantasy even spotted that expansion, but certainly the right expansion to go for. Yeah, I think that, uh, I mean, this is obviously what Fantasy needs to do. Yes, Fantasy is still certainly behind, um, but Fantasy has shown his own shuttle micro, or, you know, dropship micro, as you could say. Possibly going to drop, or probably going to drop on the ridge there, get a tank in, shell down on this expansion. This is exactly, this is exactly what Fantasy needs to do. But Stork, great answer to that, taking out the tank there. And uh, now we're going to see some vultures trying to molest the upper left base. Oh, unfortunately, a, a mine going off. This, honestly, is swinging back and forth. I think that Fantasy might have three bases at this time. So he has three, Stork has four, but he's getting shelled on like two of them at this point, or getting harassed on two of his bases. And it's just a matter of Stork can keep up with this. Uh, good drop there with the Zealots. Well, Stork, um, Stork has to be careful not to lose so many units. We've seen Stork lose a lot of units lately, um, being a little careless. And that's because Stork is focusing on expanding right now, and Fantasy is not. And look at how many vultures are just swarming around the map. I mean, you can see Stork has got to know that Fantasy must have just built a ton of factories, which is exactly what he did. You know, one thing as a Protoss player, you've got observers, and usually those observers oh. get fended off. Oh, a ton oh. of mines! Stork is not paying attention to his Dragoons oh. at all. He has no observers. That's a critical mistake as a Protoss player to not have an observer with your Dragoons. That's not something you should be doing, and that is something that Stork does all the time versus Zerg. And one of his banes, Protoss versus Zerg, is he's never good enough with his observers. Observers always getting sniped. Observers, you know, not going out when they should. I feel like Stork is a player who builds a lot of observers and cares a lot about scouting information. Uh, and it looks like Stork is going to go in here, though, with some zealots out of nowhere. Stork a lot of zealots. Big zealot force. All of Fantasy's tanks are elsewhere on the map, out of position. Fantasy does not have enough to hold this. It looks like he does have five tanks, but zealots are going to be able to get in on the tanks. He's going to drop them. Vultures coming back, um, but no vultures to defend. And it looks like Stork is dropping in on the tanks. He, he drops on the high ridge um, to kill off some of those tanks, but it looks like those tanks have held. And now Vultures versus Dragoon is, is going to be a pretty even fight. Vultures trying to lay mines to take out some of these Dragoons. These Dragoons getting a little bit trapped. It's a pretty even battle. But I feel like Stork is going to lose all his Dragoons here. Probably he is going to pick them up and save what he can and move out. But honestly, surprising how big of an attack that was. Fantasy did a good job. Oh, and wow! What? Out of nowhere. What? Stork going for the carriers. <laughs> Unbelievable. But this is so bad for Stork because Fantasy, I mean, Stork has the economy, I guess, now to support carriers, but he doesn't have the troops on the ground right now that he needs. Oh. And look at Fantasy's army. Fantasy with the genius push to come up with eight factories just out of nowhere. Stork is not ready for this. Stork is expecting maybe five factories at the most right now. And that's what I was saying is Protoss doesn't have that scan ability like Terran does. Terran knows exactly what's going on. Protoss has to rely on observers. And if your observers get knocked out of the main, they don't know what's going on. You can see Fantasy is scanning there. He knows exactly which bases to attack with surgical precision. And he has the units to do it. Stork does not have the units. And now these Dragoons not paying attention. Going to lose some Dragoons yeah. here and there. I really think this push can be really effective for fantasy stork is on the ropes right here he's got to get some zealots out he's got to get some templar or something and he's not going to have them oh he's just... decided to go carrier tech you know any other tech I, I think that stork was deceived he was so far ahead that he felt he could go carriers but now look at this fantasy once again he's scanned he knows carriers are coming he has so many goliaths you can see that he knows carriers are coming you know if stork would have gone for arbiters or templars he would have been much stronger going in this mid to late game push but but now i mean even though stork's economy even right now is probably better than fantasy's fantasy has so many more units on the ground and i don't think stork has bought himself enough time for those carriers and if these dragoons go down that's going to be game right here anyways gg he's not even he's not even sieging his tanks and he doesn't really need to carriers desperately trying to come in um he does not want to use his carriers this early on you know with like three carriers and maybe not even max interceptors but this is going to be game i feel for stork yeah this is it that's game stork is out of the os fantasy and type b moving on 
I, to be honest, where was Stork's Reaver when he made that push on the secondary? All he needed was one Reaver in that push. He could have dropped it on top, or he could have went on front and taken out a lot of tanks. And we didn't see that great shuttle micro. He went and he did drop a few on the on the ridge in the main, but wow, fantasy just coming back from an absolute. I mean, that was a comeback. That was a comeback game from fantasy. That is not the type of game Stork in disbelief sitting there just cannot believe it. He thought he had the game, man. He had five bases to fantasy's two bases at one point, or three bases at one point. And Fantasy just dropping, which is what he does so well. When you watch Fantasy play Terran versus Terran, it is the same thing, man. Look at that pimp. Look at that drop pimp. Well, you know what we saw here is just a player reacting better. Fantasy reacted better, and Stork did not. Stork, you know, F Stork does everything standard usually. You know, he likes to play a standard straight-up PVT. You know, he felt he's ahead. Okay, the standard thing really kind of is to get carriers. Um, and, and Stork has been really successful with carriers in the past and in previous seasons. Um, and, and, you know, a lesser player like Fantasy would have been like, oh, I'm behind, I'm screwed. They would have just kept trying to play standard, and they would have lost to carriers. But Fantasy didn't. Fantasy knew he was behind, and unlike these macro bots, these, these new, new players that come up a lot that are just macro bots and don't have the tactical skill, Fantasy does have the tactical skill. He's a tactical yeah. player. He knew, hey, it's all or nothing from here. I'm going to build tons of factories right now get as many units as i can and that's exactly what he should have done it was a brilliant decision and stork just did not have the scouting information look at he that just, he just made the wrong decision they he both, just made the poor decision there they're both passing words right now uh doesn't look like i mean there's no handshake or anything but uh it looks like they're chatting about the game it's it's always good to see the players afterwards you know not all angry or shunning each other talking about it i you know i, I agree i think stork was also under much more pressure i mean fantasy had nothing to lose in this game if he did lose this game he would just go and play everybody else again so stork just man having a rough time there it looks like probably close to tears trying not to um you know you got to feel bad for him stork is a good player but I, he just really needs to step up his game i think if he wants to win another uh win another series like he did so we are going to move on then um we have zero or i'm sorry uh go go versus huasen coming up a uh, Terran versus Terran should be interesting, as you saw there. So we'll see it. 